Good morning, brothers. It's Monday, March 16th, the day between the St. Pat's weekend in Chicago and actual St. Patrick's Day, which is on Tuesday. There's one thing about me that uh, has been on my mind recently, and that's the way that I act contrary to the sort of predominant way think people are around me. So, uh, St. Patrick's in Chicago, St. Patrick's Day, is... Um, you have, well, you have a downtown parade, you have a south side parade down in Beverly, and I think there's even one up on the northwest side these days. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if there were additional parades in the suburbs on top of all that. Um, and I wasn't feeling particularly Irishy when I got ready for uh, church this morning. Um, it's, it's almost difficult to be Irishy in Bridgeport if you're not, like, 100% Irish. Um, not necessarily from Ireland, because that would be sort of a different thing. I think when a Bridgeporter thinks of Bridgeport Irish, they think of my great-grandfather got this land for digging the canal, and my Irish family has been intermarrying with other Irish families ever since. Um, so it, it's, it seems silly or um, almost wrong for me to claim to be Irish in that setting. Um, it'd be, it feels sort of like uh, when people go to college and other people say, where are you from? And you might say Chicago because you're from Chicago land. And then somebody else would say, you're not from Chicago, you're from a suburb and ah. It's a standard conversation I think that we all have been part of or at least witnessed. Like, I just, I mean, I wore this green shirt because I could at least like gesture at like appreciating this day. I wasn't gonna make a big deal of it. But then I got to church and there were maybe 10 people total in there who were wearing green of any sort. And a lot of people didn't even realize at church that it was St. Patrick's Day, despite like the river turning colors and parades everywhere. And, and, and so they, then it became like a, hey, hey, why are people wearing green? <laughs> so um, yeah, that's how I operate, I guess. I don't like to necessarily consider myself a salmon always swimming upstream on everything, but uh, for example, if I'm in a group of men who are acting all macho, I don't necessarily feel the need to act macho. I feel like there's enough macho-ness to go around in the room, and I will uh, generally prefer to act, to sort of go to something else, other part of my personality, maybe an academic side or a myst mystical religious side, um, something like that. On the other hand, there are things like these chocolates, which were given to us as a gift, um, as a congratulations for IVF apparently working. Um, and although you may be able to see on here, they have all these different kinds on them um, that, you know, you'd expect these to be very much distinct in terms of the way they taste, uh, but they're all majority, um, except for one that's white chocolate, they're all generally made out of the same chocolate, um, the same company's sort of standard milk chocolate, uh, which means that even though you're expecting one thing to taste like, taste like tiramisu and the other thing tastes like brownie, according to what the label says, um, you mostly taste chocolate. <laughs> uh, so there's, you see there's nuances to them, but if you go in looking for the nuance like I keep doing, um, I realize that what I actually taste is the lack of nuance. and. Uh, could be that if I went in tasting for just that chocolate, then the nuances could um, show up more for me. Maybe. Maybe I'm just a born contrarian. That's also significantly possible. Actually, that also reminds me of something I, I reshared on Facebook this past week, which is a quote from uh, graphic artist Marjane Sotrapi. Only say part of this, but uh, she said, the difference between you and your government is much bigger than the difference between you and me. And the difference between my, me and my government is much different than the difference between me and you. I guess, by comparison, you, you can definitely see differences uh, everywhere at the end of the day. But uh, that was a, a nice reminder, especially um, in, in lieu of sort of all the, you know, who is part of what ethnic group stuff that comes with... Uh, St. Patrick's, especially in Chicago, where there's not just, you know, I'm Irish, I'm not Irish. There's also, like, I'm North Side Irish, I'm South Side Irish, and that kind of stuff. Anyway, Gavin, I hope you have a great trip, um, and I guess you'll see this when you get back, unless you're poking at your phone a fair amount on the trip. Uh, Kyle, I think you're still in town, right? So you might be able to watch these this week? Maybe? Eyebrows?